Hey there, brothers and sisters. This is Sister Sarah. I'd like to share a word that I have received earlier this morning. Uh, as I woke up, the Lord asked me to have a look at the dates today, which is 10 April 2020. And if you add, um, if you add the numbers up, it's it comes to one four four. Take the zeros. You know the drill. And this is a message directed to the 144,000. So if you don't know what this is, please refer back to your Bible to learn about that. Uh, ask the Most High God any extra information that you want to know about this. And yeah, I'll start the word now before I pray. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for the opportunity of reading a word here for my brothers and sisters. I ask you that whoever needs to listen to this word listens to it. And please bless every single listener, Christian or not, so that they may come to you in repentance. In Jesus' name. Today is the day of my transformed. The day I wash them clean. The day I reveal to them who they are and what is hindering them. My hidden ones, my 144,000, my special selected elite army. They are few compared to the population of the world. But they will wreak havoc on the beastly kingdom. They won't allow it to come so easily. They will have an upper hand and spiritually enter into the enemy's camp for battle. Who said you can't do something? If I am in your camp, you can do all things. My order now is to start praying against every plot deal the enemy will reveal to you in the media. All their schemes are designed to find out who you are. Well, the world is about to find out who you are. And it won't like it. It will envy your connection with me and spit upon your calling. But I have not called you to please the world, but to please me. You are my soldiers. You are my soldier. And from today, you will no longer be entangled in worldly irrelevant matters. It will not move you any longer. Your moves will be called and calculated to spoil the goods of the enemy's camp. The goods are souls, captive souls, billions of them. Trapped, unable to move. You must move them. If I say to you to move a mountain, you must do it. About judgment. After he spoke a little bit about the 144,000, he wanted to touch a little bit about the judgments there befalling earth at the moment. The 144,000 will bring judgment upon the world. The plagues reversed. This is why I told you to pray for the firstborns. This virus is nothing compared to what I am about to send upon the world. But it can only cling to the unrepentant. So I say to you now, repent of your sins, of your murders, of your coveting, of your idolatry, of your lies and hypocrisy. You know that as I speak to you, the enemy tries to disqualify you, giving you wicked thoughts, testing you through people. Fear not, because he cannot disqualify you, and he is angry. None of the prayers of my 144,000 will return void. They are always stored in a memorial for them through all ages. There is nothing hidden from my hidden ones. They already have the ability to see through people's intentions. Well, now this is about to increase. With this gift, I warn you, a lot of pain ensues. Because you will see and know when people are lying to you and being deceptive. I give you that gift so you can clearly see your enemies and pray for them. Never give up your calling. The beast will target the hidden ones, but because you are at least one step ahead, you will slip through his fingers. Now for the war, he wanted to address the coming war that we call World War Three. The war that is coming, no one is expecting. After all, we are together in this crisis. 
right? No, you are not together in this crisis. You are separated from your family and those you love. As we speak, governments are preparing to strike. They want maximum damage, not for themselves, but for you. They have their man-made safe havens, not ordained by me. I tell you, these will be their coffins on the day of the Lord. The coming war will be devastating. So it's absolutely imperative that you come to me now, as you may not have time when it breaks out, as fear will settle in. With the war, great natural disasters are decreed to befall the earth. These judgments, are part, these judgments are part of my mercy. They will remove one quarter of the world's population, most of them my people. So they won't see the beast. So be ready to meet Yomeha at a moment's time. I hope this uh, encourages the 144,000. You know who you are. By now you should know a little bit more or even everything of um, what God has called you to do. And um, just be ready. If you're a Christian, you don't know what 144,000 is. You don't know about the prophesied wars and famines and pestilence or the fact that in the book of Revelation, it says that one quarter of the earth will be killed by plagues and pestilence and wars and this and that. You need to reread your Bible, the book of Revelations. I, I hope that whoever listens to this, Christian or not, is blessed in Jesus' name. I hope that, I pray in Jesus' name that you have a chance to come to God and repent, even if it is in the, your last moment of life. And continue on doing what the government tells you to do. Just remain doors. Do what's right. Don't break the law. As long as it's not breaking God's law, you are doing what's right. But that doesn't mean that you're not going to war indoors against the plot of the evil one. That's what this word and that's what God tells us to do as his soldiers. Uh, please be blessed. If you have any questions, you can write down in the comment section below. And um, let's keep going. This is about just, it's just the beginning of everything. Okay? In Jesus' name.